Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how to actually trigger an interaction event inside the actor and as you can also see here, how to make this interaction multiplayer ready. First, let's go to interaction area, open it up, create a new variable, call it interact duration. Also change the variable type to a float. I will explain it in a bit. For now we can just close it again and go to the interaction trace actor component. In here in the event graph, we want to create a new custom event and call it try to interact. Also add here a new input, boolean input, or we call it n. That has the reason if the interaction duration is, for example, bigger than zero seconds, then we also want to have the possibility, if we're passing here false, to cancel the opening progress. Let's go here with true first. So first we want to make sure, do we actually tracing an interaction area? If not, then nothing happens. But if so, then we want to get here our focus interaction area and get the interaction interact duration. We also want to store it here, promote to variable, store it in a separate variable because we need it for some calculations later. Connect it here with the true. And then we want to check is this interaction duration bigger than zero? So if it is zero, so false, that would mean that that uh, we can interact instantly just with one key press. If it is bigger, then it should open over a certain time. So we need to hold, for example, a certain key over a time of two seconds or so, and then it will trigger the interact, the interaction. But here on false, it will just mean we can just open it in zero seconds just instantly. Um, now we want to tell the interactable actor that we interacted with it. So how do we do it? Let's create here a new custom event, call it interact on server, change it here to run on server and set it to reliable as input. When I name it here interaction area and as type also interact interaction area then we're gonna get here the parent actor and now we wanna run an event in our interactable actor and we can do it again with the help of an interface so let's go to our interface and create here a new function. We just call it interface interact. And here now we can trigger the interface interact message interface function. So before we're going to our interaction area and implement this interface event. We also want to make sure that our character can press a certain key to try try to try interacting. So let's go to our character and in here we can search for for the input E. So let's say if we are pressing E, then we want to interact. Let's take here our interaction trace actor component ref. And here now search for try to interact. So if you're pressing, then we want to interact. And if we're releasing the E key, then we want to stop the interaction progress connected as well here. Then let's go back to our actor component and here 
Now we need to call this interact on server function. Let's call it here if our interact interact duration is zero. I want to call this interact on server event. So here in false, as input, take the our variable here, focus interaction area. Now what we we'll call this event and this interface function, and let's implement this interface function in our interactable actor. So that would be in this our case our test interaction actor. Let's open this here. And now on the interfaces, you should see here interface interact. So you can right click on it and implement the event. Here we want to create now a custom event. Call it also for example interact on server and set it on run on server and on reliable and true. Also if we are doing here multiplayer stuff we should make sure that the whole actor is replicating. So go here to the class defaults of the actor and here under replication set replicates on true and if this actor is important and should always or should also be replicated for a player that's really far away then we also need to set always relevant to true okay let's create here a new variable we'll call it interact toggle and change the replication type here to rep notify on rep notify we'll create here this function and everything in this function will be replicated if we are changing the variable here in a cust in a custom event on server. So um we're gonna set this boolean to the opposite state. So this actor will have two states like two boolean states like either can be just false replicated or true and with this custom event we want to set it always to the opposite so searching for not boolean i want to set it to the opposite as it currently is so let's double click here on this or open the function here uh, before we want to want to make sure that we're calling the interact on server event here. Now we can open this rep notify function, add here a branch, add this, this variable here. Everything that happens here on true will be replicated for everyone and everything on false also for everyone. So we could test for example with a point light. Let's go here to the viewport and add a point light. Just move it a bit up and increase the intensity and maybe the color. And I'll also set the visibility by default on false. Now we can go back to our grab notify function, grab the point light, and set the visibility on true. If this pool is true, so here on true, and set it back to false. It is false. So now let's test it on multiplayer. Just test it here with two clients. So you can see both. There's a small bug of the. <laughs> okay, let's, let's play again here. I'll go now here and press E. And there we see. Both windows, red light is turning on and off. We can also do it in the other actor, and you'll see it in both windows. So, uh, that should be for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're taking a look on the opening and the progress. So, that we need, for example, to hold key for one second, and only then it will turn the lamp on and then again off if we are holding again the key for one second. So I hope I was able to help you and 
If you have any questions left, ask them in the comments. And see you in the next one.